Hey guys, I am on location thanks to J&M Home Improvements. I'm here with Matt and we are talking flooring. Yep, today we're putting together a little bit of vinyl flooring click together. Um, would you like to see how it goes? Absolutely. How to put it together? Sure, let's take a look. All right, so we're down here and we have some tools, we have our vinyl. So what are the next sure, steps? As you can see, we've got some of this put in already. Um, we're at a spot now where we can put in a couple of whole pieces. So I'll just show you how this stuff goes. It's really simple. Um, we decided to go with vinyl because we're in a kitchen high moisture area and uh, that laminate wood doesn't seem to hold up <clears throat> quite as well as the vinyl. So, so that's why they chose to go with this stuff. Now this particular kind is really simple. You don't have to do a lot of, if you're familiar with any of the, the wood kind, you kind of have to get it into place, beat it into place, snap them together with a hammer. You know, this stuff's really not that hard. You just, you lay it in to get this nice edge here. You make sure that it's all the way up tight and that you're tight up against this edge here. And then we can take a mallet and you just snap it together. That's it. And then that piece is installed. Um, we're going to have to do some cuts. There's a few different ways to cut the stuff. Can I show you a couple a different ways? Absolutely. All right. The first thing that you have to keep in mind is that we need to keep a little bit of a gap all the way around the edges. It's a floating floor and it expands and contracts. So you have to make sure you leave room for that or else you'll end up with buckling of your floor. And then that'll get covered up later on with some baseboard trim. So. So what we'll do is we'll just measure out to our wall and then subtract about 3 16 So this piece here needs to be about 11 and 9 16 uh, There's a few different ways to cut it. I'll show you the easiest way first. One thing to keep in mind is make sure you always have your piece flipped around the right way. If you cut the wrong side, the entire piece is wasted. So mm. good to make sure you know what direction you're going. Okay, and you can just score it with a sharp razor knife. use the handle of my hammer since it's right there and that's oh, all wow, there look. is to it. Right, so it's pretty simple when making straight cuts and that piece is done. Now there's a few other methods we can use to cut this. Uh, if you want I'll put in another whole piece and we'll have another one to cut and I can show you out on the saw how that's cut. Yeah absolutely. So Matt inside you showed us one method of cutting. Can you um, show us another way and explain what this is? Sure. Uh, this is a compound miter saw. That's real simple to use. Uh, I can just make the measurement. I just bring my blade right down there to the mark. And make a pass. And that's our next piece. The piece after this, we're going to put next to the dishwasher enclosure and it didn't line up right. So we're going to have to cut a notch out of one side. So I took the measurements and I can show you how to cut that with a jigsaw. Oh, excellent. And that's just right over here. Now I like to use pencil to mark this with. It's a little bit harder to see, but if I use marker, it'll stain. And if I right. make a mark a little bit past where I want it, it never goes away. And I love the fact that you always measure and there's a saying you measure twice and cut once. Right. Sometimes I find myself measuring three or four times. <laughs> All right, this is a jigsaw and uh, it's just a lot simpler for making angled cuts. You can make rounded cuts, all kinds of stuff with it. So this is the piece that Matt just measured and cut outside and he let me just lay it down and he's such a great teacher. See, it's as simple as that. Thank you so yeah, much, Matt. You're welcome. Absolutely. And you guys need to stick around because next week we are talking cabinetries. I'm so excited. Me I can't too. wait.